Good evening and thank you for joining me tonight as I bring to you what art therapy is. Christian Counseling and Art Therapy provides a unique job opportunity to work with all ages in the numerous aspects of the healthcare profession. According to ExploreHealthCareers.org, art therapy is based on the belief that the creative process involved in artistic self-expression helps people to resolve conflicts and problems and develop interpersonal skills, manage behavior, reduce stress, increase self-esteem and self-awareness. So what exactly does an art therapist do? Art therapists do not place limitations on their patients. They understand that the creative process can be a very complex one and the process itself is probably the most important part of successful treatment. According to the American Art Therapy Association, art therapy is still not well known and there is a need for education. <clears throat> I have to be honest with you, I, I've never really heard about art therapy until I started doing research for a topic for this speech. Everything that I have read about art therapy really intrigued me and it makes sense to use art as therapy to help people. I go to paint parties with my mother, and we do a lot of painting. And I can tell you from experience that even though we're not in a controlled environment as being in therapy, but it has helped my mother. She's 84 years old. My father died about 15 years ago, and my brother died about six years ago. And she has begun to paint and this is one of her paintings that she has done. And it has helped boost her esteem and it's given her something. She can hang her paintings on the wall and she can see that she's done something. She has really come out of a shell of depression and she looks forward to going to our paint parties. So from experience, art therapy does work with depression and it gives somebody self-esteem and self-awareness of what they're doing. So in Psalms 73, 24, the Bible says, you guide me with your counsel, leading me to a glorious destiny. There's no better way to honor God's purpose and his values than to help others and guide them through their troubles. So in the next few minutes, I'm going to point out some different differences between counseling and therapy. I'm going to show you some pieces of work that I have found on the internet, internet of some art therapy and I'm going to give you the different work environments that an art therapist works at, the education and the salary base that um, an art therapist can earn. I want to present to you the picture of being able to set aside frustrations and burdens and for a very short time while creating a beautiful masterpiece that you can call your own. So let's get started. Art therapy is a growing type of therapy and it's used for all types of issues that someone faces. It can be used along with counseling. Art therapy is a psychology subspecialty that uses therapeutic art making to improve and enhance the physical, mental, emotional well-being of people going through trauma, illness, or mental health issues. Now, though the duties of psychologists and counselors are similar, they're not exactly alike. In some states, such as California, therapists are required to hold a specific license to practice. Counselors, on the other hand, are not required. They do not always have the same requirements, and sometimes that means that therapists require more education. It's not always the case, though. Psychotherapists, especially those who have earned an advanced degree, may also have a wider variety of tools to access in helping their patients. While counselors mostly just use talk therapy, 
Psychotherapists sometimes use other methods in, in their practice, such as accessing memories, employing behavioral therapy, and other cognitive techniques, such as art therapy. The art therapists work in many different places in the scope of healthcare. They work in schools, they work in senior centers, they work in nursing homes, and even as a private practice therapist. The pay depends on the type of degree you obtain. For example, obviously obtaining a PhD, um, you're going to reach the higher end of the pay grade. However, according to art therapy degree programs, art therapists generally find work in metropolitan areas and earn in the low to mid $70,000 range annually. And this brings me to my second point. Pablo Picasso, who lived in 1881 and died in 1973, he once said that art washes away the soul the dust, I'm sorry, art washes away from the soul the dust of everyday life. By allowing someone to express himself through the art of creation, it gives them a satisfaction of accomplishment and self-esteem. According to the American Art Therapy Association, those who participate in art therapy can learn how to resolve conflicts and develop interpersonal skills therefore washing away the dust from the soul. And that brings me to my conclusion. As I pointed out that I believe that there's no better way to honor God and his values than to help others through their problems. I believe that counseling or therapy is a profession that can ju do just that. It can honor God and his values. <clears throat> it is rewarding to enter this profession and it gives the person the satisfaction of leading and guiding someone to a resolution to their problems. Art therapy is an excellent subspecialty to counseling and it brings the clients to self-awareness and it boosts their self-esteem. By creating something that they can hang on their own wall. Thank you for being here.